there was a game that came out on the PlayStation years ago. Host, uh, Shoji showed it to me years ago, and it's called um, what was it? Slap, Slap Happy, Happy Rhythm Busters. Yeah, and it was a phenomenal looking game for, t- for being on the PlayStation. Didn't they and do that with the, the Dragon Ball games? Where they made them look 2D, and but it's a 3D environment. You know it's what I mean? 3D game, but I guess the game yeah. can still be rooted in 2D. 2D. Uh, yeah, it's 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 like, kind of like the that. characters themselves. They, they look like. Well, it looks like they're shade. 3D, I, I, but they're like yeah. colored over. I call yeah. it like Jet, Jet, Jet Set Radio because I was the first time I ever seen it done. Right, cell shading, yeah. cell, cell shading. shading. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, um, the the Dragon Ball games, they like the first couple of them. Or actually, the first one was a 3D game, and then uh, from then on, that's when they started using the shell, the cell shaded um, uh, technique. And I think there's a difference in how these cell shaded games are are um, are presented. Because, like, some of them, it looks like, you know, they're a 3D game where it's just kind of colored over. And then there's other games where you have, like, uh, Wind Waker on the GameCube where it looks like it's all hand-drawn from Jump. So there's there's different there's different ways of presenting a cel-shaded look. So, you know. Well, I mean, I think, like I said, though, too, I mean, going back to the whole thing about the, the 2D fighting games, I, I still think the reason why you can't get new people into these games is because of... They do look so dated. I mean, it's a pre it's a prehistoric look. It's pretty outdated, yeah. but you know, it's a it's a lost art. Right. So many of us still can appreciate to this day. Oh, yeah. You can give me any of these three D games, all these days that look like two D. They're still not the same thing. That's right. right. You know, so it's like I will still choose any of these uh, good old two D fighters over these three Ds any days. But we got so far and few coming up. I mean, the only ones I can think of coming up is what that. Fizz of the North Star. Fizz of the North Star from uh, on the Sammy board by Sega, whatever. Jeez, yeah. When is that going to come out? It's out in Japan, but I, I don't think we'll ever see the light of day of it in America. I mean, or whatever. Ha- what the hell happened to freaking Dog Stalkers versus Guilty Gear? That's true. I think we're on this. We, I think wow. Capcom has put so much on their plate because you got to understand yeah. these studios, these um, companies can only put out so many games, and Capcom is one of those uh, companies that have so many franchises. It is funny how back in the day that they milked the hell out of stuff, and they still do with the Mega Man franchise, Street Fighter. <laughs> that they have so many great uh, franchises that they can use. It's what whatever happened with the Dark Stalkers. I just I just hope they don't go out with their last original game being Capcom Fighting Jam because that was a that was, that was a that was, that was terrible. I'm glad that or, was a in Christmas America, present, Cap- man. Capcom Fighting Evolution, but that man. that game was it was an abortion. It was atrocious. That was that was a horrible horrible game. It is sickening to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Not even, hey, I, I don't think I've even now. played it. You know what? I think I did play it one day, and I was just like, this is garbage. Yeah, but what was that about? Uh, uh, Capcom Fighting Jam. Uh, the fighting Evolution like, in the U.S., but Fighting Jam everywhere else. The one that had, like, Dog Stalkers versus, uh, what's uh, Red Earth. Red, Stripe, Red Earth, yeah. yeah. Red Earth. And then they they pull they put in uh, Garbage, Ingrid oh, that one. Wasn't that that line? You, only, you only had, like, yes. four characters yeah. each, and it was It was thrown together. Yeah. In other words, they just threw characters from different games and even think about balancing them out. No. 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 Hey, how do you think the Darkstalkers will fight against Street Fighter? I don't care. Let's just put a game on <laughs> <out laughs> like Buddy. This, we told them November to 1st. We got to get it out. About but. Capcom, right? Is They have this whole universe. You mm-hmm. know, They can make complex stories, have great, awesome fighting games. Like just one fighting game with like half, half you know, Street Fighter characters and half... Dark Starkers characters, they can go all day with that nonsense. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you know, next day, let's do, uh, I think Star is a, Cap- a Capcom character, too. Yeah. You know, yes. They, can, yes. They, they have so much ability to do whatever they want, but they're just like, uh, let's just make another versus game, and we'll use the same old sprites from, like, 1999. That's a great voice. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> dude, we'll be, uh, so, you know, I mean, what totally? I'll be with these people. I mean, to, to me, the biggest slap in the face is when you're playing these games and you got a ton of other characters that weren't included in the game in the background. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's the biggest car tease, isn't it? That's, that's the, the biggest win. <laughs> well, careful there, careful there. I want to get too much in that because that's a whole other topic right there. Like, where's <laughs> exactly. the Capcom characters that should have been in fighting games? Yes. Bionic Commando. <laughs> Where the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> And for CB, and, and for where's CB, my Nintendo versus Capcom? And yeah, and, and, and for Capcom versus SNK too, the matchup I always wanted to see was Joe Higashi versus uh, Adon. Adon. I mean, yeah. I, so I could just finally answer the question: Who's better? Because it's got to be Joe. Back. I mean, if they had me running the Doesn't company, matter, man. Batman we'd be making money. Both. Batman so. can. <laughs> I, That's word. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to give credit to SNK though. SNK Playmore, because um, even though 
um, things aren't uh, they, things aren't as, as popular, and, and you know the, it could be very easy for them to have just turned over to to a lot of 3D stuff. They still f- manage to put out a game or two or three every year, like you know, uh, you know uh, Battle Coliseum. Yeah, I was about to mention that. KOF 11. Um, you know, they just put the uh, uh, Samurai Samurai Showdown 5 on they the, did on the Xbox. KOF 12, by the way, they just announced that. Wow. Did they? Yes. See, that's that's outstanding. They they consistently put stuff out, and granted, it's it's a lot of remixed sprites and stuff. But they they're still putting something out there with like different like move sets and different like uh, different strategies and stuff, um, different little quirks each year just to keep keep things kind of fresh. That convoluted story of oh. KOF too. It's, don't ever forget about that. Jeez. Iori versus. Oh, it's a wild ass last boss that that oh. is so overpowered. And when you try to beat him, you have to no. Wikipedia uses <laughs> he, t- he touches you. Oh, yeah, every time. He's the yeah. second to last guy. I'm done. I've yet, yet to beat the boss. last boss of eleven. Yeah. No. Wikipedia <laughs> uses the term SNK boss syndrome, where it's the, where you're just you're screwed. You got to this guy, and uh, this is when you start hitting the uh, continues and trying to dumb down the computer. To they win. really got ridiculous with those bosses. Oh, yeah, I mean, like second hardest last boss ever made was made by SNK. But to me, but Mizuki from Samurai Showdown too. Oh. Second hardest Second boss. Second hardest oh. being yeah. Magneto. That's from right. Children of the Atom, uh-huh. made by Capcom. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, X Men. I'm talking about X Men. You you get to the end of that game, you try to beat Magneto. You you're not beating him the first time around. If you do, <laughs> you have to, if you do, you're, you're, you're third. third if you do, you're an idiot savant. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> you beat Magneto, you are now a man. Well, even <laughs> on the even on the lowest <laughs> difficulty, he will make you cry. That's right. What's the hardest character you ever fought? Magneto Probably from, Magneto. Other than that, Mizuki from Samurai Showdown 2. And then, Name any SNK boss. Um, probably, probably... Um, Onslaught. Onslaught? Onslaught's no. not hard at all. Piece of cake, dude. Onslaught's a piece of cake, dude. What was that one... Um, I th- guess it was... Uh, it was one of the... Street Fighter vs. X-Men. Marvel character games. Where you had to fight... Um, the dude with the the, 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 the the stones in his hands. Thanos? Thanos? Was he was a joke. Leave me alone, guys. I thought they were hard. No, 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 none, of, no, none of the versus games last bosses, save for maybe maybe God Rugal, he is probably hard. See, God Rugal is not and, a problem. And he's, he has a pattern, too. And once you figure it out, he's it's, he's easy to beat. It's Shinokuma that's the bane of my Doesn't existence on sick. that game. And then he gets, gets you and grabs you and does a range of demon on you. And it's like a hate <laughs> I hate oh, you more. I hate you. oh, that's one of those where as soon as he grabs you, you just drop the controller and walk away. You don't even want to see that symbol on the screen. Swing! Uh, uh, let's not talk about Gil from oh. Third Strike because that's a whole oh. other ball of wax right there. This is turned into the last boss, that last boss conversation now. Yeah, Gil. Gil. You mean uh, Neil before your master? Neil before your master. <laughs> that man and of course, the classic. Master. I am your god. That's it. I'm getting Daigo. No, this is not working. Uh. <laughs> but. But yeah, I mean that's that's just a big gripe uh, that I have. Come on, there's there's you know big tournaments where people are making tons of money. You got guys flying from Japan to show off what they can do. There's there is still a market there. Yes, it's not. It's it still can be a niche title. It's not going to be super super mainstream like uh, like Blonde said. But there is a clamoring for it. If if, if you know that uh, you know Alpha Anthology came out a few months ago, please buy it. Show Capcom that we're still interested. You know that you know there's still there's a demand out there. Oh, I do I do have one last thing to add. Yeah. Um, in Next Generation magazine a few months back, one of um, a woman was just hired by Capcom's PR department. No and, way. And one of, Not and one a of the biggest, she's always been a big fan of 2D fighters and 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 all the licenses that Capcom used to have. Uh-huh. And she promised that she would fight really hard to get some of the licenses that they lost back, including Marvel. Oh, so man. we're. Ho- I'm hoping to see maybe a resurgence of one of the. She can flash those tits Hallelujah. all she wants, <laughs> as much as she wants. It's uh, big money dollars that speaks, and right now yeah. EA has. That. EA does yeah, hold the chalice. Right. Good luck getting that money back. But the beauty about these 2D fighters, man, even if they're old, we'll still love them to this day. Oh, yeah. We can go back and play them. They stand the test of time. And it's been That's proven right. too. I mean, you can just sit there and repackage them. Every couple of years, and people are still buying them. Jesus I Christ, mean, we still play Alpha Two to this day. Come on. Yeah, I mean, everybody. Yeah, exactly. I mean, people are playing these games all the time, and when they break down, you're just gonna go buy a new one. And it's you know, competition. You, as long yeah. as the competition's there, the people still want to play them and fight in them. They'll keep on doing just it. So That's you right. can see Ryu do. It'll shit be nice to get some new fighters, time. but <laughs> all up in someone's grill. 
<laughs> and like I said, I still think that with the new emphasis on all the systems with uh, online play, that these are the games that are really going to send online playing on the consoles through the roof be- between the fighting games and, you know, the um, the sports games. So, I mean, that's that's really going to bring us to the next thing. I, I, I actually think that there's going to be a revival of these games. I should hope maybe not to the on point the, they, that they were in the 90s. Yeah, but if that there money is again on the same game 10 yeah. times over. Exactly. Fiddle, that's fiddle, the formula. Fiddle for your special on Xbox 360. I'll see you there. That's right. That is right. Not me. <laughs> if, if, uh, if, if there is a revival, um, I, I don't know. I, I, may, uh, I may just say, Lord, take me now. Uh, after, you know, I would be the happiest guy in the world. But um, that's that's pretty much our time on this topic for the uh, first part of the show. We got to pay some bills. So uh, we'll be back um, in uh, just a couple moments. Good day, sir. Look, the script is a Shinjuku Station production. I said good day!